Hi guys, in this video, I am going to walk you through uh, a tutorial on how to import events data from StatsBombPy package. So before getting into the coding, we will just see the PyPy page of uh, StatsBombPy. So this is the PyPy StatsBombPy page. So StatsBombPy can be installed by using pip install StatsBombPy command. Uh, so I have already installed the uh, stats bompy in my system. So uh, before that, we'll just see the stats bompy GitHub page, open data GitHub page. So this is the uh, GitHub uh, open data repository that I will uh, give a link to this repository in the description. So here. Uh, so they have given a readme so you can go through that uh, yeah, that is a description about the uh, repository so here we can see uh, there is uh, data so in, inside data there are events lineups and matches so like if you go to the matches then it is arranged in different folders so oh, so right now you don't understand what the meaning of the 11, 16 and all it is actually competition ID so that I will come to later so 16 is actually uh, Champions League data so it is in JSON format so it's a huge data even data okay so let's get to the uh, Jupyter Notebook so I have installed the stats uh, package so now let's import the package from stats bompy import sb okay so now I have imported to my Jupyter notebook so now let's see what are the competition data available. So for that we have to use sb dot competitions. So uh, you can see that it is giving a warning that credentials are not supplied open data access only. So this is because there are two versions of stats bomb by API. So it is actually a paid uh, thing. So if you are a paying customer of StatsBombPy only, you can access uh, all the data. However, StatsBombPy has also provided some data for free. So that is the data which we have seen it seen in the GitHub uh, repository. So those data we can access through the uh, StatsBombPy uh, package also without registering or without paying. It's actually like free. So now let's see what are the competitions available. So there is competition ID, then season ID, country name, competition name. Okay, so these uh, details are available. So we have uh, competition name, compet uh, competition gender, like male, ma uh, male or female, then season. So for this uh, video, I will get the world cup uh, argentina versus france match so i am an argentina fan and that was a match which act, like actually broke the heart we will just uh, try to get that data okay so international so for international the competition id is 43 and the uh, season id for 2018 uh, world cup the season id is 3 so if i provide uh, 43 and 3 we can get the data so we will see what are the uh, matches available for the 2018 world cup so for that we have to give sb dot matches competition id 
equals 43 and um, season id equal to uh, season id equal to 3 okay so now it will show the all the available data so there are 64 uh, matches details which are available so i am currently interested in uh, round of 16 match between argentina and germany so we'll just see the round of 16 where um, I'll just save it as data frame equal to show me df where df dot competition stage equal to equal to round of 16 okay so now we will get all the round of 16 match particulars so round of 16 obviously there are eight matches so we are interested in this match france versus argentina so in which uh, france scored four goals and uh, Argentina was Argentina scored three goals, so uh, we require the match ID from this. So match ID is seven five eight zero. So we can see the lineups also. Before proceeding to the event data, we will just see the lineups. For that, we have to use sb dot lineups mm, match ID. So this is the match ID. Okay, so it will give a. So it is in a dictionary. So that dictionary has two keys, France and Argentina. So I'll just give the uh, key Argentina so that we can get the Argentina's data set. Argentina. Argentina. Okay. So this was the lineup for that match. So it has the player name, that is the full name, and then the player uh, nickname, that is the name which we commonly use, and the jersey number. So Angel Di Maria 11, Niklas Otomer D 17, Lionel Messi 10. So th these details are available. So now let's check the event data. So event data also, uh, we have to use SB dot events then we have to provide match id this will okay so this is the data available so there are 3549 columns and uh, 49 rows and 77 columns you can see that uh, these are the details available ball recovery block defensive offensive carry on end location carry on start location so a lot of details are available so we'll see what are the data available we'll i'll just save this as df or else i'll just save it as events events equal to Okay. events dot so these are the columns which are available <laughs> so if you want to see all the shorts then we can so we will do one thing we will find we will look into the uh, data frame which contains all the shorts of the data 
short type short freeze frame short body part short end location short start location mm, 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 short type substitution outcome short technique so I'm just trying to see what is the uh, what column will be what column name will be associated with a short with every short okay so I think every short will have an XG so I will find the all the shorts all the shorts we can get it by event where events where events dot events dot a uh, short stat mob xg uh, dot is in a equal to equal to false okay so this will return the data frame where xg is not null so there are 21 columns so i think the, uh, in the in the match they have taken 21 shorts so short type is available then timestamp is available in which minute the short was taken taken by France or by Argentina so th those details are available also another thing is we can save the data as a CSV file if you are interested events dot to CSV so I will give it as FRA also give ARG FRA WC eighteen dot CSB and I will give index equal to not okay. No oh, event is not available events okay so by this I have saved it uh, saved the uh, full event data as a CSV file in my system so that's all guys so in the next video I will explain how to visualize the data visualize the event data using uh, MPL soccer I will add all the resources uh, to this tutorial in my github repo and I will share the link to the github repo in the description uh, you guys check it out and if you have any doubts or if you need any more clarification you can uh, ask in comments uh, you can also reach me out in Twitter I will provide my Twitter handle also in the description that's all for today guys uh, if you like the video please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos thank you